From 41 NBC Sports, it's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by MPHI Home Specialists, BMW of Macon, and Bennett Financial with Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. Well, my numbers didn't come up, so I'm here. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the end zone. I'm Bill Shanks from Middle Georgia's ESPN, the Superstations. Tonight, we've got six big high school football games in the Middle Georgia area. Tucker Sargent joins us later with our game of the week as Jones County hosted Eagles Landing. Let's get started first with Peach County at home against Central. The Trojans were rated fourth in AAA this week. They have won three in a row and were heavy favorites against the two and six Chargers who have had trouble on offense this year. Peach County, on the other hand, has been a runaway machine on offense, particularly in the three region games, scoring 54 points per game in the three region AAA matchups. Let's go down to the valley now for some highlights. Peach County and Central. Here come the Trojans on the field, and they were ready to rock and roll already on the eight-yard line here, getting ready with Jaden Gibson handoff to number 12, Kaplan Everett, who will run it into the end zone for the touchdown. Uh, Renee Gallen would get the kick up right for the extra point to make it 7 to nothing. Peach County out on top early. No Peach County now the ball again for the 36. Gibson hands off to Noel Winnington. Straight down there for a first down for Peach County. Then Gibson back to the 31. Looking wall pass. Alex Hinton. Nice first down inside the 10 yard line. And here they go. Gibson, number 35, Whittington for the touchdown. And Peach County adding it to their score. PAT had. PAT attempt was good, up and in there for another point, 14-0, Peach County on top. Here we go after a bad punt now from Central. They are going to uh, have a safety. Yep, he's out of bounds. Two more points for Peach County. That's all they needed, 16 to nothing there. Trojans back now with the ball. Gibson from their own 42. Quick pass to Alex Hinton. Out now to the 49-yard line. Good enough for another first down. Then they Turn around, other way, here we go. Another play, another reception by Hinton of the 41. Gibson now again, shotgun, back looking, and he's gonna take off and run, and he's gonna get all the way down to the 28-yard line. Gibson again now with the pass. Here it comes, and this is gonna be a touchdown. How about that? In there for the score. That made it 22-0, PAT was no good. This was all Peach County. 50 to 8 the final. They're now 6 and 2 overall, 4 0 in the region, and at Jackson next Friday. Over to Warner Robins now. The Demons hosted Bainbridge in a Region 1 5A game. Here we go, second quarter. Demons up 7 0 after a Bainbridge turnover, and they would get going. Dylan Fromm to Markel, Markel Jones, and he gets a big game here for a first down near the 25 yard line. This kid is having one great year, one of the best receivers in the country. Dylan Fromm now to Christian Anderson. Brought down around the five yard line. Now first and goal for Demons. Fromm this time hands it off to Andre Duhart. He tries to take it in the score, but he's a little short. Nope, not in there. On the one, very next play from, makes the handoff, takes it himself. He's got it, touchdown, 14 nothing after the PAT. Warner Robins out on top. Bamers could do nothing, Warner Robins got it back again. Late in the second quarter, from, shotgun, back, looking, and complete again, Jones. Look at him go, look at this kid. He is one heck of a player, 30, and brought down right near the 29 yard line. He plays later from again. Shotgun tries to throw it deep, and Jones can't get it, but a flag down. There you go, pass interference, and they're going to get it in good field, field territory, but they'll have to settle for a field goal. Samari Howard does the job for the field goal. to close it out in the first half, 17-0. Warner Robbins goes on to win it easily, 35 zip. They're now 8-1 and off next week. How about some quad A action? Howard hosts to Upson Lee tonight at Ed to four. We picked this game up in the second quarter as well with Upson Lee up on Howard by the score of 15 to 14. Howard with the ball now on their own 26 handoff. Jeremiah Kelly, nice run there. Now the pass coming. Aiden Stewart complete. And he's driven out of bounds near midfield. Huskies on the 46. Quentin Sewell scrambles, puts it to number five. Jarquavius Coleman, and he's going to get uh, a good run all the way down to the Knights 27. But the drive would stall, and Upsley would have to go back to work on offense. And here is a completed pass, but a rib rocker. How about that? Isaiah Edwards, boom, fumble picked up by Jarvis Martin. Huskies ball, but Howard didn't score. Upsley got it back again. Damon Thomas went to work again. Nice run there. Then from their own 37. 
Handoff coming again to number 10, Damon Thomas. This will take a while. Sit back, enjoy this run right here. This is a long touchdown right here. He gone. Another touchdown for Upson Lee. The PAT would make it 22 to 14, and Upson Lee would hold on to win this ball game. 38-24, Howard's first loss in the region. They are at Spalding next Friday night. We've got two games in Region 7 in single A up next with home games from Mount DeSales and more of the end zone right after this. More highlights coming up on the end zone. Tonight's catered meal for the end zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.